Hello my schoolers, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. In this channel, we'll be tackling jam-pass questions for the subject government year 2020. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. channel in this video we'll be attempting question 1 to 20 now let's begin with question 1 a constitution is a legal document dash a drawn up by lawyers B enacted by military decrees C forming the basis upon which a government rules the country D only likely to succeed in countries where there is union government now this question seeks to simply tell us what constitution is now we know that a constitution is defined as a body of rules or principles stating how the powers of governing a country is given and how these powers should be exercised so this sets limits not only to the actions of the people but also to the actions of the government now let's take a look at our options we see the option c clearly clearly tells us what a constitution is. A constitution is a legal document forming the basis upon which a government rules the country. That is, it tells us how they rule the country. Option C is the correct answer. Question 2. A government in which control of ultimate power is by a few who rule in their selfish interest is classified as dash. A. An oligarchy. B. A dictatorship, C, an aristocracy, D, a monarch. The answer to this question is option A. An oligarchy is a form of government in which power is vested in the hands of a few. And usually, there is always a personal interest as their motive. As opposed to option B, a dictatorship is a form of government in which power is vested on a person or a few a group of people but then the aim is to abolish other political parties that might want to be against their authority or power option c an aristocracy is a form of government in which the best citizen rules option d a monarch rule in option d usually a king or a queen option a is the correct answer Question 3. The judicial organ of government is the body which dash A. Implements the law B. Makes the law D. Punishes lawbreakers D. Interprets the law Now, this question is very tricky, but then let's start from the scratch. The legislative makes the law, the executive implements the law, and then the judicial interprets the law. But then we have punishes the lawbreaker, which is also a function of the judicial organ of government. But then we know that the judicial organ of government has various functions. It um, interprets the law, it punishes offenders, it settles disputes, it safeguards human, human rights, and all of that. But then primarily or essentially or in summary, it interprets the law. That is why option D is the best answer. Option D is the correct answer. Question 4. Which of the following was not established by the 1979 Nigerian Constitution? A. Police Service Commission B. National Universities Commission C. Federal Electoral Commission and D. National Population Commission Now, the 1979 Constitution ushered in the Second Republic, which is characterized by the American-style presidential system. Now, in order to avoid the pitfall of the First Republic, the Second Republic established this commission except option B. So Police Service Commission was established, Federal Electoral Commission was established, where po political parties was, was mandatory. National Poli Population Commission also was established except for option B, National Universities Commission. Option B is the correct answer. Question 5. Rates are generally collected in Nigeria by 
A, the State Ministry of Finance, B, the Department of Inland Revenue, C, the Emirates of Traditional Council, D, the Local Government Council. Now, the local government generates revenue from the collection of rates. Rates are the charges levied on properties or buildings. So, the local government generates revenue through the collection of rates, for example, motor parks, market shops, radios and televisions, and so on and so forth. So, the answer is D. Rates are generally collected in Nigeria by the local government council. Option D is the correct answer. Please be reminded to take practice questions with our simulated Jam CBT Pass questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below where it takes you to my school website and there you can have access to download my school mobile app for your Android phones or my school software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and download these and start practicing. Moving on to question 6. In a democracy, sovereignty is in dash. A, the community, B, public officials, C, judges, D, the head of state. Now, a democracy concentrates on the people. That is, it emphasizes that the people's ability to exercise power directly or through their representatives. So, in all, when we talk about democracy, we are talking about the people, or at least emphasis on the people. So, in this question, option A is, is the correct answer, the community. In a democracy, sovereignty is in the community. Option A is the correct answer. I believe you're enjoying this content. If so, hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next video. Question 7. Which of the following is a good example of a confederal state? Option A, Nigeria. Option B, ECOWAS. Option C, Switzerland. Option D, USA. Confederalism is a system of organization in which there's a union of states. However, the states have um, control of both internal and external affairs. An example of this is ECOWAS. ECOWAS is an organization located in Nigeria and its purpose is to promote regional cooperation and economic integration. Question 8. A bill that applies to the whole population and is intended to promote the general welfare is called dash A, a private bill, B, a decree, C, an appropriate bill, D, a public bill. Now, a bill is not a law until signed into law by an executive, and then we have three types of bill. We have the private bill, the public bill, and money bill. Public bill simply means has to do with uh, issues confronting the, com the country. Now, from my explanation of um, the term public bill, we see that it best, it best completes this question. So, a bill that applies to the whole population and is intended to promote the general welfare is called a public bill. Option D is the correct answer. Question 9. Fascism developed in Dash A France, B Germany, C Italy. D, China. The correct answer is Italy. Fascism was developed in Italy under Benito Mussolini. Option C is the correct answer. Question 10. The theory of separation of powers was first time clearly formulated by Dash. A, Jean Bodin, B, Jane Austen, C, Baron de Montesquieu, and D, Lord Bryce. The answer to this question is C, Baron de Montesquieu, and he published his book, The Spirit of the Way, where he spoke about separation of power. Jean Bourdain, who is a French writer, came afterwards to uh, maintain his assertion about um, the separation of power. So the answer to this question is C, Baron de Montesquieu, who was the first. So option B, this is a, a journalist and an American novelist, and this Lord Bryce is a British politician. So option C is the correct answer. Question 11. A system of government in which power derives from total control of the instruments of force is called dash. A. Monarchy, B. Oligarchy, C. Capitalism, and D. Fascism. Option A. Monarchy is a system of government headed by a monarch, a king, or a queen. Option B. Oligarchy, system of government in which power is, is in the hands of a few. Option C. Capitalism is an economic system in which 
the production and the distribution of goods and services is in the hands of a private individual or controlled by a private individual. Option D, fascism is a system of government headed by a dictator in which the government controls all the activities of the state. Now, option D is the correct answer. Question 12. The British government revoked the charter of the Royal Niger Company and took over the direct administration of Nigeria in dash. A, 1861. 1861 was the American Civil War. Option B, 1900. 1900 was when the British government revoked the charter of the Royal Niger Company and took over the direct administration in Nigeria. 1900 was also the date in where the Southern Protectorate and the Northern Protectorate was created or established. And then 1906 was when Lagos Colony was added to it. And then Lagos Colony was then officially renamed as the Southern Nigerian Protectorate. 1914 was the amalgamation of the Northern and the Southern Protectorate. So it was joined together and was called um, Nigeria. Option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 13. The fundamental objectives and directive principle of state policy in the 1979 constitution do not include dash. A. Democracy and social justice. B. Federal character and inequality. C. Concentration of wealth and provision of maximum welfare. The national integration and ethnic loyalty. The 1979 constitution ushered in the Second Republic, and there was a lot of remodification done to it as opposed to the First Republic. So, all of these options were included in the objective, except option B federal character and inequality was not part of the objectives of the 1979 constitution. Option B is the correct answer. Question 14. The founder of the Universal Negro Improvement Association was Dash. A. K. C. A. Ford. K. C. A. Ford was a leading Pan African nationalist. Option B. Abu Makoli. He was the founder of Nigerian Nationalist. Option C. Marcus Gabe. Is, he was the founder and the first President General of the Universal Negro Improvement Association, commonly known as UNIA. W. E. Du Bois is a scholar, a writer, an editor, and a civil rights pioneer. Option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 15. A characteristic feature of communism is dash. A, free enterprise, B, liberal democracy, C, dictatorship, D, multi-party system. Communism is a political and economic system in which the community through common ownership collectively control all the means of production. Most communist states are usually dictators, so example of this is North Korea. So from my explanations, we see that option C is the correct answer. A characteristic feature of communism is dictatorship. Option C is the best answer. Do not forget that there are several solution providers presently waiting to answer all of your questions. So feel free to ask your questions. You can do so by clicking on the link in the description be below where it takes you to my school website. There you can ask your questions as answers will be provided to them within a short period of time. Now moving on to question 16. Africans were first elected to the Legislative Council in British West Africa in Dash. A. Ghana. B. Sierra Leone. C. The Gambia. D. Nigeria. The answer is Nigeria. In the year 1923, Africans were first elected to the Legislative Council in British West Africa in Nigeria. Option D is the appropriate answer. If you have better steps, solutions, or explanations to any of all these questions, feel free to use the comment section below in quotes, the question number, and the solutions you would like to share. Question 17. When a state is subject to no other authority, it is said to be dash, a powerful, be legitimate, see authoritative, this sovereign. The answer to this question is this sovereign. However, sovereignty means the supreme power and authority of a state. It could also imply without interference, without external interference. So option D is the correct answer. Question 18. 
Why pressure group aims at influencing government decisions? The primary aim of political parties is to dash a promote the welfare of their members, b execute particular programs, c influence legislation in order to benefit their members, d control political power. Now, first and foremost, what is a political party? A political party is an organized group of people who form a political unit seeking control of the government. Now, the control of the government would also imply control political power. Option D is the correct answer. Question 19. In the tradition, also for any political system, political authority was vested in Dash. A. Emir, B. Talakawa, C. Al Kali, D. Emirates Council. The answer to this question is A. Emir. Caliphates, caliphates were divided into emirates, that is, territory. And each territory or emirate was headed by an emir. Do not forget that the Aousa political system was highly centralized. So option A is the final answer. Question 20. Southern Nigeria was divided into eastern and western provinces for administrative purposes in year dash A, 1935, B, 1937, C, 1939, D, 1941. The answer is C. 1939. So the southern Nigeria was divided into the eastern and the western provinces for administrative purpose in year 1939. We've come to the end of this wonderful segment. I believe you enjoyed every bit of it. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release our new videos. <laughs>